Greetings, 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 royal family. What time is it? It's growing up hip hop time. <laughs> Ooh, I think I laughed for like a good 30 minutes after watching this episode and uncontrollably during the episode. All right, so JoJo is still walking around in his feelings, you know, pacing back and forth. He mushed me, he mushed me. I'm just going to give a disclaimer right now. I'm going to try my best to get through this review without laughing and cackling all in this microphone. All right. Anywho, I can't make any promises. I said I'm going to try. Anywho, so Little Twist is in the sneaker store chilling, minding his business. This is supposed to be some sort of pop-up event. Can anybody let me know? What is and what was Angela having a pop up event for? Because I I did I miss that? Let me know. Put it in the comments. Anyway, so JoJo and Twist they have a fake little argument, but it's really JoJo doing too much. You know what I'm saying? JoJo he really talked too much, yo. Like I was ready to check his chin. All of that. In my face, disrespecting me, disrespecting me. Twist said over and over again in a calm tone, just watch the way you talk to me. What is there to discuss? JoJo doing all of that rah-rah, all that cheerleading, that pep, those pep squad antics. I'm telling you, I was ready for Twist to jump up and just slap him. Like, yo, shut up. Get out of my face. Like, what do you, what do you, like, go away. Twi <laughs> Twist tells, uh, production asks Twist in a, in a separate scene, like, should someone be uh, worried if you get out of character? And, you know, I, I didn't like that line of questioning, but whatever, you know. And Twist calmly says, no, people should hide. They shouldn't be worried, but they should hide <laughs> if I get out of character. Perfect answer. So Jojo, he gets all mad and he's just like doing the most. And then he tells Twist the friendship is over. All right, friendship is done. Then he starts taking off his mic. I was just like, what is going on? And then he walks off and every he's just making a big Broadway production in the sneaker store. And I was really getting annoyed because everyone was like all in Twist's face who remained calm the entire time. It's like, go away. This man was sitting down. At one point, he got up, but he was sitting down. JoJo's, uh, Tanise, JoJo's wife, goes over to him. It's just too, like, yo, I said what I said. I told JoJo, just don't talk to me like that no more. That's it. Why is everybody approaching me? I was really getting irritated. Like, Twist kept his composure more than I did. <laughs> And he was in the middle of this situation. It's like, yo, get out of my face. Anyway, so JoJo, he's making a big stink. And, you know, um, Vanessa comes and yokes him up. And she's just like, all right, JoJo, we're not doing this. What are, we, what are, what are you doing, JoJo? We don't, we don't do this. We don't, we don't do this, JoJo. So he's in the room. And Tanise goes up to talk to Twist. Like, oh, you know, you guys are brothers. JoJo was like, he's talking to my wife. He's talking to my wife. Trying to get away from the room that Vanessa had him in. Like, trying to get Buck because he saw Tanise talking to Twist. Who was calm? Ugh. I just wanted everybody to get out of Twist's face. I really did because that was ticking me off. That was getting on my nerves. So production gets called. JoJo is yelling. Twist is still chilling. All he said is, watch how you talk to me. That's it. That's all the man said. So Vanessa's like, I need Janice, Leroy, whoever from production. <sighs> JoJo's trying to plead his case. Like, again, can somebody let me know what the pop-up shop was for? Everyone's standing around looking like, what the heck is going on? Vanessa, she's confused, like. She's unfazed. It seems like she's accustomed to JoJo and his antics. But I'm going to tell you something about JoJo, yo. i seen dudes like JoJo. <sighs> JoJo 
Like dudes like him are the ones that get their muffin cap peeled back blue. <laughs> yeah, I remember when um Kevin Hart said that. <laughs> get your muffin back. Muffin cap peeled back blue or whatever he said. But seriously, no, all jokes aside, JoJo really was getting on my nerves. He really was. Anyway, Boogie, he shows up. He's confused. And he just doesn't know what's going on. Brianna, she's confused. Aaliyah, who is Eric's wife, is trying to tell her that, you know, Twist and JoJo got into it. And she's just like, what? Like, I was just cracking up during this entire scene, partially. And then part of me was getting real irritated. Like, yo, JoJo, get out of the man's face, yo. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Now, if, you know what, let me move on. Anyway, we move on to Tyran and Sean, okay? They go to a real jeweler to pick out a ring for Cousin TT. So, Sean, he's going to be proposing. Duh, we saw that coming, right? And he has everything planned out. So, he also plans to have TT's mother show up, you know, fly in from Jamaica and surprise her as well. Now, $40,000 was the cost of the ring, y'all. $40,000. You go, Sean. You the man. All right, let's move on to these two clowns, Bow Wow and Angela. So they're having, I guess, dinner. Bow Wow had candles lit, whatever. Um, Angela decides to tell Bow Wow about her stalker. Her hair did look nice in this scene. This is not the picture from the scene, but her hair did look nice in that scene. Anyway, um, she's telling Bow Wow about the stalker, and Bow Wow says that the stalker needs his ass whooped. And Angela, in her confessional, she's just like, Bow Wow's very protective. <laughs> Woo! Well, we know Bow Wow likes to put hands and feet on people, regardless of their sex or gender. Anyway, Bow Wow, he wants Angela to go on the road with him. You know, he's doing this tour. She's designing his costumes and Bow Wow he just wants her to travel with him on the bus and he got the chef ready. All this game he's spitting and Angela is eating it up. Anyway, I just think, Bow Wow, I think he does love Angela um, and I think that she loves him too, but I'm not falling for this fake, this, this little love storyline scene. I'm totally not here for it. They can keep it. Moving along, the photo shoot. The cast is having a pro, like a promo shoot. They're doing a promo shoot. And Egypt boy, Egypt's boyfriend in his confessional, he says that because Romeo has left the show, he feels that this would be a good opportunity for him to get a spinoff. Anyway, Titi, she is doing an interview with production. You know, her mother arrives backstage and she's watching everything going on. Titi doesn't know that her mother is there. Now, no one knows what's happening. So the rest of the cast, they're called, you know, called a call to the front and they're basically called to witness Sean approach Titi with flowers then he proposes in front of the entire cast. Aw. So the only person that knew, or the only people that knew about the proposal was uh, Tyran and TT's mother. Now, as far as Egypt is concerned, all I have to say is sad. Just sad. Sad, sad, sad. So we move on to see after TT said yes and she complimented the ring. She said, Emerald Cut, you did good. You know, she said, I thought you were a Verizon, you know. You got to love that, TT. She's, she's mad cool. So after uh, the proposal, you know, um, they go out to eat. And this is when TT is surprised by her mom. Her mom shows up. TT, she screamed. She was so happy. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, Tyran, he showed up. And Pep, they called Pep on FaceTime. And she congratulated them. And in her confessional... She feels that Sam should be included, being that he's quote-unquote family. No, girl, he is your family. And where the heck you been these last couple of episodes, Pep? Mm -hmm. And Aunt Bev is in L.A., so you, you hiding, huh? Ah, God. Anyway, so they sit around, they have a good time, you know, and as they're leaving the restaurant, Sam... <laughs> Sam and Egypt walk up because Egypt was invited to this little intimate lunch or what have you but TT made it very clear that Sam was not invited um Tyran sent the message and I just think like what what do you guys expect like come on get with it already TT's not rocking with Sam Egypt get with get with it girl wake up wake up 
Anyway, so they both show up, right? As everyone is leaving the restaurant, Egypt and um, Sam, they show up. <laughs> TT totally ignores Sam. And they basically head on out. Now, I just want them at this point, I want them to just get over TT wanting anything to do with Sam. Like, she has every right to not want to be bothered with Sam, right? Like, she made that very, very clear. And the day is about TT, not Egypt. Egypt was whining in her confessional about, oh, I didn't know. And, you know, when my engagement party, girl, these are, this is to two totally different situations girl tt was trying to save you Ugh. this is not about egypt and her boyfriend who cares who cares god i'm so sick of them anyway we move on to angela and bow wow so she shows she shows up to bow wow's concert at madison square garden and um she shows up with his clothes that uh that she designed and the designer that actually you know executed the the construction of these outfits so she's going to be at his show backstage. She got matching uh, sweatsuits, I think it was. Now, this is the most that I've seen Angela work all season. Is it just me? I mean, she did do a photo shoot um, for her Built Not Bought, bought brand, but all she had to do was just show up and put on a two-piece, no? Anyway, I have to say that Bow Wow really is a good character. He's, I think he's good for reality TV, and I'm being serious when I say that, not being sarcastic. Um... I do have a question though. What did you guys think about the attire that Angela designed? You know, there were a lot of safety harnesses it looked like. I was like, is he going to be doing acrobatics, like swinging from something that he's going to be strapped to? A lot of straps and belt buckles and seat belt buckles it looked like. What do you, what do you guys think about that? Anyway, back to the hotel after the show. Angela, she was backstage. Of course, her bodyguard, Katrina, I think that's her name. She was there. They were backstage and Angela was just like how Bow Wow was so great at what he does. So after the show, they go to the hotel. Now this scene seems seems very fam very familiar, right? Like after a big event, like a basketball game or a concert, then back to the hotel, right? This is we've seen this before, no? Anyway, she's asking Bow Wow about being in a relationship, right? Mixed with a whole bunch of I want us to remain friends because the friendship is the most important thing. We've been friends for so many years. <sighs> After that, I realized that production really is shady. They asked Angela, how is this promise that Bow Wow is making to her different from Romeo? My, my, I couldn't believe it. I said, no, they didn't. Angela said, she put her head down. She said, I don't want to talk about Romeo. So they said, okay, forget about Romeo. Bow Wow, you know, Bow Wow then compared him and Angela's relationship to, to Tupac and <laughs> Jada Pinky. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. I'm really trying, y'all. I'm like, okay, okay. So the episode basically ended with Bow Wow asking Angela to accompany him on tour because he's going on tour overseas and he wants her to join him. I just, I just, I want to commend Bow Wow though. Like all jokes aside, he, he is, his acting is stellar. You know, I mean, Bow Wow really is a good actor to me. Like he came in when there was a shakeup with the cast, you know, from a whole different franchise. He was with the Atlanta franchise. He whisked over to the LA franchise. There's a whole bunch of malarkey going on amongst the cast. And here he comes in. And he provided entertainment for the L.A. franchise. Job well done, Gregory. Is that what Angela calls you? Job well done. Um, yeah. The way that they ended the episode or ended the season, I had no, I didn't have any expectations. It is what it is. Um, honestly, I'm kind of glad that it's over. I want them to completely do a recast. I, I, at this point, I don't even know who I want to stay. You know, I'm afraid that if Twist stays, what will be his storyline? Because he's is he really making music? I like Twist. Twist could very easily have his own spinoff. But I, there's no one else that I want. TT seems like she's over it. She did have her baby. Um, I saw it on, I forgot what um, Instagram page I saw it on. But yeah, at this point, they can do a complete 
like complete recast total even even with production get rid of them too get some new eps in there <sighs> growing up hip-hop atlanta um is premiering next week i think let me know if you guys will be watching i don't watch the atlanta franchise i saw a couple of episodes pieces of maybe two or three episodes here and there um maybe i'll review that franchise you know i'm really sold on that bow wow i, I really am you know he uh as annoying as he can be, he's very entertaining and he's good at his job. He just came in from Atlanta all the way over to L.A. and just helped Angela get more camera time and have a storyline. I commend him for that. I totally commend him for that. So, Growing Up Hip Hop L.A. season finale. What do you guys think? Do you think that they should do a complete recast? Who do you want to see come back? Uh, I'm not buying this uh, Bow Wow and, and, and Angela situation. They're probably messing around, but I don't think they would be official um, publicly. I don't, I, don't, I don't see them doing that. I'd be shocked if that happens. Bow Wow got a lot of things to deal with on his own. Isn't he, when is him and, and Kaomi, is that her name? What are they going to court? What became of that when he put his hands on her, when they both got arrested for putting their hands on each other? What became of that? Anyway, Royal Family, I, I, I did what I could, okay? Um, I did what I could. So get down in the comments and let me know how you feel. If there's anything that I missed out on, of course, put it in the comments respectfully. Like the video if you liked it. Drop your comments. Subscribe. Click the notification bell. Select all. Yada, yada, all that good stuff. So it's been real growing up hip-hop cast members of L.A. Good riddance. Until next time, peace.